All right, now on to the industrial sector. We're going to replace our position in GE. I'm really excited about this. Let's see what our prospects are here. Uh, so uh, we can take GE out. Here we are. So uh, EMR, Emerson, uh, UPS, Waste Management. Let's check the scores here and let's see what we're really looking at. Um, Uh-oh. I think uh, that's scary. Let's change that. All right, here we are. So, waste management number one, uh, UPS, and then Johnson Controls. And I will say that Dover is going to be a, a very close uh, third. Um, so, um, so far, not a, a huge, huge uh, difference as far as beta goes. Um, but uh, I will say there's a I'll say there's a big difference between uh, first and third for sure. So uh, let's take a look at the numbers. All right. Uh, dividend is the lowest of the bunch uh, in uh, waste management. Um, looks like uh, Carl Icon is really messing up the average here. Let's see. The actual average is 2.72. So uh, that's not really far from the average. Uh, Icon down here is... Um, throwing things off for us all right uh, let's kind of see where we've come from just real quick so uh, waste management has come all the way from 74 up to 90 uh, UPS has moved just a little bit uh, Johnson Controls has come way down uh, and then Dover has moved up a little bit uh, so uh, you know now keep in mind you know this purchase price and current price this has nothing to do with the scoring it just so happens that this thing has, has, has uh, performed great um, and it just so happens to be part of the beta uh, portfolio. Um, so I think um, that says a lot about our, our scoring system here. I mean, it really works. All right, PE. Um, all these companies are going to be a little different. Um, you know, EMR, JCI are about the same. Uh, Dover, uh, EMR, you know, eh, about the same. UPS completely different, uh, waste management uh, completely different. The one thing I will say I do like about waste management is they are focused in uh, the U.S. only. So, um, you know, like I said before, with the dollar uh, becoming uh, much more expensive uh, to foreign markets, they don't have that so much to worry about. Uh, inflation um, will, uh, you know, hit everyone the same pretty much, right? Um, but it won't affect uh, waste management as much. Um, and we see here that the PE is about the same for all these guys. Like I said, UPS uh, and waste management are the only two uh, that really don't have a good comparison. Uh, these other guys, though, I would say they do. And, and the icon is down here in the world by himself. So we're not even going to discuss that there. Um, but but the PE is, 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 not, is not too high. So that's good uh, looking at the average uh, looks like waste management and UPS has come way down um, as far as their their uh, PEs go um, and so that's not a bad thing especially uh, being that we know that waste management uh, has, has come way up in price uh, this difference in, in, in PE uh, has a lot to do with uh, either share buybacks or uh, possibly um, you know, this is a five-year high. You know, so that number is is crazy. Uh, we don't know why that that is as as high as it is. So we're not going to uh, uh, worry about that too much. All right, net profit um, about the same. Waste management net profit is really good. Operating profit, they're all in line. Uh, waste management beats out there as well. Uh, return on assets looks like uh, Emerson, Dover. UPS uh, are best in 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 the best in show uh, with Emerson uh, rounding out waste management. Um, you know, have a lot of trucks. UPS has a lot of trucks. Uh, waste management does have uh, some other uh, equipment and things like that. Uh, you know, to to take care of the waste. So I can imagine why uh, their return on assets would be a, a bit smaller. Um, 
but uh but UPS you know they have a lot of plants and and, and, uh, and what do you call it the uh, big uh, distribution centers and stuff so I don't know uh, we'll have to take a look at that um, this cash number here let's turn it into a number um, not a lot of cash at waste management not a lot of cash at all uh, UPS is about average um, and everyone else is is right there uh, so we will we will take a look at that um, our cash to debt ratio um, of course uh, again uh, much better over at UPS um, I have to say that uh, UPS right now um, is having issues with uh, with the labor uh, unions and so they are um, having issues with uh, with their their unions and possible strikes and this kind of stuff so we have to take that into consideration uh, the short interest is about the same for everyone uh, looks like uh, waste management uh, is under the, uh, the the sector average so that's that's good um, let's see they are just off their highs so that means that uh, we're gonna get this thing uh, fairly expensive if, if we get into it um, and not far from their low either um, compared to these other guys um, now this is this is good look at the alpha the alpha is actually positive I like that um, and then we compare the up moves uh, with UPS and Johnson controls and uh, and the down moves are about the same um, oh my goodness the return on waste management is great volatility is great um, everything is point to uh, to waste management so far let's take a look at performance um, the GE of course is our uh, sector uh, MVP to so get rid of that uh, Carl Icahn and Johnson Controls uh, Carl Icahn has uh, the best average um, I'm not sure what the beta was on Carl oh, oh. great company great company Carl Icahn legendary right um, but just horrible beta uh, and uh, alpha is not much better so um, we're not even gonna really uh, look at that but you know it's you can't deny you can't deny that performance right you can't deny it um, so waste management is positive so that's good uh, Emerson is positive and then uh, UPS looks like uh, they're negative um, so that's not horrible I'm curious to see um, what the performance has been over the past year all right here we go so we're gonna be looking at um, UPS and waste management okay UPS waste management I think is, is what we're looking at Johnson controls we don't want to touch uh, Dover is not bad, but based on that beta, I mean, that's double, it's triple. Um, so we don't want to go there. So this is waste management UPS. All right, waste management UPS. And so um, let's uh, get rid of these. All right. So right away, we, we know that, of course, you know, waste management. Uh, uh, has the, the better average uh, but we're just looking at uh, performance right so um, volatility is about the same for both of these guys and we see over the last couple months here it looks like it's been about the same um, looks like we have more losses here right yeah more losses there um, big difference there though right big difference there though um, small difference there big difference there big difference here of course so um, looking at performance uh, waste management uh, wins out you know 
Uh, waste management is a solid, solid industrial company. Like I said, it's an American stalwart. It, uh, it focuses primarily on just that, waste management. That's all they do. Uh, not a global brand, so no need to worry about geopolitics, no trade wars, none of that stuff. Um, best beta in, in the sector, um, a decent average, so waste management.